which is kind of all it's yours. Now, you know, your album is called Soundtrack to Your Life, um, and, you know, it's, a, it's, it's an awesome name, you know, for, for, for an album, because it's like, you look at all the songs, and you listen to all the songs, and it's, you put them together, and your lyrics are so strong and meaningful. Now, what, um, how did you put together this entire album, you know, in regards to what the music means to you? Um, I, I really, like I said earlier, it was really important for me to songwrite on all of the album, and so I, I like to come from a really personal place, like I like songs that tell stories, and um, like I love Maroon 5's record, I, they, it paints a picture in your head when you listen to it. So I tried to do that a lot with, with the songs that I was writing about, I really just always came from a personal place, something I had been through, something that I could really pull from that, um, that uh, was close to me, you know? Um, and. I want to make sure that I, I want to make sure I answer your question. About, what was it again? <laughs> that was it. Like basically, like what? Your yeah. Oh, how did? How did? How about how it came together? Oh yeah. So with the whole with basically, I had you know all these songs, and I sat down and decided which ones I thought would sound best on the record, and then which ones kind of flowed into each other well. And um, I called it soundtrack to your life, and not soundtrack to my life, because that song soundtrack to your life is about sort of like the struggles and challenges that, that life is and I wrote it for Lyric before he was born and instead the reason why I didn't call it soundtrack to my life is because I was realizing as I was writing about all these things that I was going through that there was there were things that everybody goes through so that's why I called it soundtrack to your life I felt like it was really appropriate now um, because of the success of there and back there's a lot of fans that um, want to know you know what's going on with Tiffany are we going to hear from her again? You know, they, they obviously want to, you know, be updated on her as well because they, you know, they got to know her, you know, a little bit. So are we going to be seeing, you know, any, is, is she actually touring with you or is she staying at home with the baby? How's she doing? She's doing good. She is, um, she loves the fans. She's on MySpace too. Um, you know, she is primarily focusing on taking care of Lyric right now. Um, and it's hard for all of us to travel together. So we do it when we can, but on this tour, they're not, they're not going to be able to come out and on the bus with me, but I'm going to be able to bring them out at certain times. Tiffany's um, focusing on putting a baby clothing line together because, you know, we're trying to find clo like cool clothes for Lyric, and it's hard to find cool baby clothes. Is there a name yet? Not yet, not yet. but she's, she's developing that. And Tiffany also really, she really has a knack for being on camera, so she's, um, she's going to be... Uh, She's going to be going out for some auditions and different things, so you'll definitely be seeing Tiffany. So is she, is she like, does she want to become an actress, or is she just going to stick to modeling? Or she's, I think she's kind of done with modeling. I think she's done with modeling. If she, if you see her again, it will definitely be, it will de definitely either be in an acting capacity, or you know, possibly hosting a show, or she would definitely, she has like a really engaging personality, a really big personality, so she'll, you'll definitely be seeing her. Now, um, there are several artists out there recording an album right now that are, you know, they're also proud parents, but unfortunately, these artists forget about, you know, their time and, you know, their children and focus 100% on their albums. And how are you coping with a busy schedule and also being able to spend enough time with Lyric? It's really hard. It's really hard, because as much as I'm excited about having an album out, I'm, I'm like more excited about the fact that I'm a dad and I've brought this new person into the world and, you know, he's part of me, so it's like, I feel so... Uh, it's hard. It's really. It's it's. It, it makes me heart sick to have to leave him. You know what I mean. But at the same time, this is what I'm doing for a living, and, and so I have to promote the album. I have to tour. Those are things that are just part of what you do as as a musician um, that has a record deal and has an album out. So I try to balance it by saying we're not going to go more than we're not going to go more than a couple weeks without ever seeing each other. So if you know I'm out on the road and I have to fly them out, I fly them out. Now tell me a typical day in your life, like you know, a day when you're busy touring or, or have a busy schedule and a day when you're doing absolutely nothing. Like how, how did it differ? A day on tour is kind of like what we're doing right now. You see Devin's hanging back here, he's got the acoustic guitar. We'll mess around, we'll sing some songs, we'll jam, we'll, we'll, jam. we'll write some new songs. Um, you know, you got TV, you got DVD player. So I like to, you know, I like to like, I like to bring a lot of DVDs on the road because I'm big into DVDs, um, and um, you know, we just kind of like we we stay busy with what we can do on the bus because you spend a lot of time on the bus. Now when I'm at home, I just like to I like to lounge around the house because I don't get time at home very often. So when I am home, 
I like to just sit on my couch and just hang out. I like to uh, I like to take Lyric to the park. I like to take him outside. Um, I like to go to the movies. I like to uh, I like to just kind of veg out a little bit, you know. If there's a pool close by, I like to go hang by the pool in the summertime. And um, I haven't been snowboarding in a while, which is something I want to do. I've been focusing so much on music, I haven't had a chance to like snowboard or scuba dive, which are things I love to do that are really active that I just I'll find time for somewhere down the road. Now, if you could spend one day of your life doing anything and doing anything, what would it be? And you cannot say sleeping. One day of my life doing anything? Anything. I would want to go to outer space, see what that's like, go to the moon, experience, experience like weightlessness, like gravity changing. That's pretty cool. Like, that would be cool. That was a great and answer. I'd like to look back, I'd like to, I'd like to look back at the earth from space and see what that looks like. I think that's probably one of the most amazing things you can see. Now you're going to have thousands and thousands of fans, um, you know, watching this interview and just, uh, Take your time, just look at the camera and talk to them. Whatever you want to tell them, go for it. What would you say to them right now? Well, as always, I want to make sure the fans know how thankful and how grateful I am for the fact that the album came out, debuted number five, and um, everyone's requesting Let You Go like crazy right now on the radio stations. It's going up in spins every week. So I just want to, I want to say I hope we can make it close to you on tour. If we do, please come out. Uh, definitely you know, come to come to the websites, let me know what you think the second single should be. I'm gonna start a poll on on, on uh, all the websites, on the official site, on the MySpace site, you know, um, we're gonna do, and of course our site, we're gonna do, I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna know what the fans think the second single should be. That's something not a lot of artists do and I wanna hear what their opinion is on it. So, I just wanna say I love you guys, you're the best fans in the world, and I hope to see you on tour. Shades of Blue. Yeah, Shades of Blue. Exactly. Somebody want to know what I was talking about. Yeah, exactly. yeah. That song is like definitely a darker song. It's, it's, um, lyrically it's really interesting. Um, you know, it's definitely about, it's about something that's a little more sad and hard to deal with. Um, you know, when you write songs, it's so easy to write about a love song. It's so easy to write a song about a boy and a girl because every, you know, those are just songs everyone relates to. I wanted to have some songs on the record that were about some different topics other than just love because you know I mean I love to write love songs and breakup songs but those are always more typical songs so Shades of Blue is about someone I went to high school with that um, you know unfortunately at the end of at the end of our whole high school experience he ended up uh, committing suicide and it was really it was really shocking and it was really um, it was devastating to everybody around him and everyone that was friends with him and I knew him and um, I had never known anyone that had done that, and um, I'm definitely not bringing glory to that in any way. But I, I really wanted to talk about that and explore that in a song, and that's um, and that's shades of blue. And you know, sometimes you just you write about things that um, you write about things that are interesting to you, and you write about things that are sometimes like, you know, not necessarily like, you know, not necessarily like positive subjects. You know, so I, I don't want anybody to feel like I'm bringing, you know, that I'm glorifying that in any way, but it was something that I felt would be an interesting topic to talk about in a song. Now, this question, by the way, was submitted by Mike from the Ashley Connection Forum. So, Mike, Ashley Parker, you'll just, uh, just said everything you needed to know about Shades of Blue. And, uh, man, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for this interview. It was great. Good to see you again. Yeah, and, you uh, too, man. We'll definitely, uh, we'll definitely be hanging out soon. Yeah, you gotta okay. come and hang out on the road more often. Absolutely, I'd love to. All right, man. All right, man. Thank you. Yeah, of course.